Okay, so about that whole thing about books. So, all right, I read, I read a few books. But I'll tell you one thing about books, and I told the people in Toronto the same thing. Um, you know, if you read too many books, you will probably, you won't have a good week. You know, you, you, you basically, if you want to be a writer, any writers in the room? Yeah. How much do you guys drink? <laughs> a lot, right? Probably more than you're comfortable with, right? No, no shame, you're supposed to, you're writers. Yeah. I mean, some people, they take opium, you know, to get to the, get to the, get to the good stuff, right? Some do both. You know? What do they do? Some do both. Yeah, some do yeah. both. Some do drink and take opium. <laughs> and I'm, I'm finding it a little hard in 2018 to find an opium den, though, like they used to have, you know what I mean? They used to have... I'm talking about before I was born. I never did opium because I was too scared to die. So, that's the truth. I, I, who knows what kind of, what kind of greatness I had? Still love Untapped greatness lies in this cavernous body of death. But yeah, anyway, so um, books. Books, opium, death, and, and alcohol. That's what writers are made of. Mm. Lest us not forget Catholic guilt. <laughs> Or Jewish guilt, or whatever other guilt you want to put on you. I'll take all the guilt, I like it all. I sleep pretty good, though. I feel like I've done enough. I've done, I, you know, I've done some bad things, whatever. I, I, I did my best to make up for them. And, and other than that, I can't do much about it. So, you just gotta keep on keeping on, you know what I'm saying? Then it comes a certain point where you gotta stop saying you're sorry. But, there's a long road before that, so don't think you're there yet. You'll know when you know. Anyway, none of these songs are saying I'm sorry. So, just to be clear. Um, but this one, this one came from the book and the movie a little bit. Um, and it's a sad story. It's, you know, it, I found myself when I read this book, uh, it's, Charles Dickens wrote this book, it's called Great Expectations. And uh, yeah. I read it, when I was younger, and it was it was horrifying to me because it's, it felt so much like my life. And at times, I couldn't figure out whether I was Pip or whether I was the mean lady twisting Pip's mind up. And I've been both. I couldn't figure out if I was the criminal in the beginning, just looking for some food, tricking him, threatening to kill him. I'm not sure if I was his mom or his dad or his sister or his brother or if I was the girl. I don't know. To this day, I've been off all of them at certain times, and you will be too. It's okay. It's all right to be the bad guy sometimes. Sometimes you'll be the good guy. And then sometimes you'll be the good guy, and people will take advantage of you, and sometimes you will take advantage of them. That's life. And when you're dead, you'll look back on it all. And maybe we'll be ghosts together. And we'll say this. Playing every sad song I remember like we were alive And I've heard some of them all from inside of these walls In a prison cell where we spent the nights We burned up the diner where I always used to find her Licking young boys' blood from her claws This kid and I knew her hair was raven and her heart was like a tomb. My heart's like a wound, but I saw tale like it's last night in a dream about my first wife. Everybody leaves and I didn't expect this much from you. I saw tale like it's last night in a dream about my old life. But I saw 
Early on, 